Well, good evening, everybody. I mean, this is, this is indeed a, a real pleasure. Every year, uh, we search the country and the world, in fact, to recognize individuals whose achievements on behalf of notaries deserve special attention. These individuals may not necessarily be notaries themselves, but did something extraordinary for the profession. I'd like to take a few minutes this evening to tell you about the person whose name graces our award and why. It was in 1979 at the NNA's first ever conference when March Fong Yu, our keynote speaker then, had reason to bask in the glory of the previous year's passage of critical legislation that immediately called attention to the importance of notaries in California and over the entire country, in fact. But she wasn't having any of it. We have work to do, she said tersely in her remarks, referring to the rollout of the new law that provided for a series of regulations, the most controversial, demanding, and ultimately providing personal appearance. Implementing the new law and educating notaries, their employers, and the public had become a priority in her office. It all started a few years earlier when, with our help, Secretary Yu learned that many notaries were not adhering to the law that requires a signer to personally appear before a notary for an acknowledgement or an oath. She then adopted an earlier NNA developed concept that called for notaries to obtain in their journal the signature of any appearing signer following a transaction, thus providing personal appearance. It was a simple concept that Secretary Yu felt any reasonable and law-abiding person would accept without obligation or even objection. But it was not to be as all hell broke loose in the financial, real estate, and other industries when she introduced legislation in 1976 with the journal signature provision. The state's powerful real estate, title, banking, legal, and insurance lobbyists rebelled and easily defeated her efforts, surprising her and, in fact, even the NNA. A year later, in 1977, armed with more data and information from the NNA, Secretary Yu tried once more. And while the votes were a little closer in the legislature this time, her bill fell again. For most popular elected officials, moving on after two defeats, especially after the, most, the state's most powerful lobbyists opposed her, it would have been understandable, but not for March Fong Yu. In preparation for the 1978 legislative session, she was more determined than ever. She worked hard to make legislators understand the value of the age-old practice of notarization. And with the NNA's help, she conducted campaigns to educate the public all throughout the state and even outside of California. And then she boldly announced her opposition, I'm not going away until we have a strong notary law in California. The rest is history, as they say, with her proposed bill finally winning in the legislature. And even many of the opponents bowed to her and the merits of her new law. But few realize how significant Secretary Yu's strong commitment to notaries turned out to be. There already had been talk about eliminating the need for notarization. Can you imagine that? At least a couple of states introduced failed measures to do away with notaries. California, too, saw legislation, ultimately defeated happily, that would have changed the office's title to certified witnesses. And nationally, corporations, banks, the real estate industry, and even attorneys, many of whom were failing to hold their employee notaries responsible for observing personal appearance laws, were watching the California Secretary of State and wondering, was this going to be business as usual after another expected defeat? With her incredible efforts and perseverance, March Fong Yu would emerge victorious for a profession whose history dates back 2,500 years. 2,500 years, folks. This is what you represent. 
Quickly, she caused notaries to be perceived in a new light. Since her 1978 achievement in California, important modifications have been taking root throughout the country. Notaries are held in higher esteem. A forward-moving effort is afoot to call notaries professionals, their increasing ability to earn more money for their work serving as testimony to that path. Technology is taking the notary to new heights from record keeping to identifying parties. States are providing stronger and more effective laws and regulations. More men and women make up the notary force in the United States today than ever. And more and more are seeking to improve themselves, all of you, with notary educational programs that impact every endeavor in society. Secretary Yu was a powerful symbol of persistence in her life, as evidenced by her work for notaries and her dedication and leadership for women further illustrated in energy and determination to serve the disenfranchised. The fact that some 70% of notaries were women in the 1970s helped to spur her interest. When she was elected, she won her office by more than one million votes, the highest margin at the time for a statewide political post. Before becoming the first female Secretary of State in California, Mrs. Yu served four years in the State Assembly and campaigned against pay bathrooms for women. She said this requirement, making women fumble for pocket change in their purses just to use a bathroom, symbolized women being treated as second-class citizens. Mrs. Yu's two decades as Secretary of State included many moderations beyond notaries. Implemented, like, for example, she implemented innovations that expanded access to voting, including some online registration and absentee ballots. March Fong Yu's attitude and perseverance stemmed from her ancestry. She was the daughter of Chinese immigrants in Northern California and was often told that her ethnicity would prevent her from advancing in school or in, or in a career, despite outstanding academic performances. Now, being of part Chinese ancestry myself, I was often teased by March, with laughter, of course, that not everyone can be good enough to be full Chinese. <laughs> and she was able to sport that witticism with a bachelor's degree from the University of California at Berkeley a master's at Mills College, and a doctorate at Stanford University. As we say in some circles, she wasn't chopped liver. <laughs> I was blessed to know March Fong Yu as I did. She was a constant inspiration, and our friendship will forever remain a special part of my life. For all she did for notaries, she will always be remembered as an ultimate achiever, the American notary's best friend and most influential leader. Thank you. Mm -hmm.